fuzzy bird. In today's episode of Detective Pikachu Returns, Rachel joins up with Tim to search for more clues throughout Rhyme City. Let's get started. Detainment Day 2, Tim, morning. There might be another Pikachu somewhere in Rhyme City. And if that's true, it must be the one that damaged the Slowpoke statue. I need to hurry and find it so I can uncover the truth. Oh, hey, it's Rachel. Tim. Rachel, what's wrong? What do you mean, what's wrong? Is it true that Pikachu got arrested? <laughs> oh, were you worried about us, Rachel? Of course I was. And how's Pikachu? The PPB is detaining him. They said he's the lead suspect in a property damage incident. You're kidding, right? They must be mistaken. Only about the perpetrator. The PPB claimed to have, photo have photographic evidence of the crime. But I know it wasn't my partner, Pikachu. So I thought maybe there's another Pikachu in the city. And that's the one they should be after. That makes sense. I can't imagine your Pikachu doing anything bad like that. And on that note, where should we investigate first? Huh? You're coming with me? I mean, I'd appreciate the help, but... Oh, don't be so shy. If a friend's in trouble, I want to do whatever I can to help. And since you and Pikachu are my friends, it's only natural that I help, yeah? Thanks, Rachel. It really makes me feel better to hear that. Well, uh, let's start at Fountain Plaza where the incident took place. All right, so let's go to Fountain Plaza. And can we talk to Rachel or will she just follow us around? She will follow us around. Okay, so, oh, it looks like some other people might need our help too, so let's interact with you. Pig night. Pig night, fueled by delicious berries. Oh dear, just give it a try, Pig Knight, please. Excuse me. Is there something I can help you with? Actually, there is. We were about to go camping. Pig Knight here is supposed to help our, light our campfire. But Pig Knight's already so hungry he won't even budge. Aw, poor thing. I meant to bring, her on, bring along his, some of his favorite berries. But I guess I totally spaced out and forgot. I just can't just leave Pig Knight here while I run home to get some. Hey Tim, can we go gather up some berries for these two? I'd like to, but do you think we can even find berries in the city that Pig Knight likes? This city is full of Pokemon. And where there are Pokemon, there are bound to be berry trees. But the berries in the most obvious places have probably already been eaten. And I guess we'll have to check each tree, one by one. Okay, if we find any berries, we'll bring them back here. That'd be a huge help. Thank you so much. Local concern accepted, find berries for Pig Knight. Pig Knight is too hungry to move. Help out by finding some berries. Pig Knight. The poor fellow is so hungry, he doesn't want to move. We're gonna go look for some berries for you. So hang in there, okay? And this is in the way to the Fountain Plaza, so we can't go that way. Can I talk to the police officers at all? Yeah, okay. Good morning. We, we've seen a huge rise in Pokemon related incidents recently. Please be careful. Yeah, sure. Oh, there's more? Incidents have been on the rise lately. Take care of yourself out there. And most of them might be actually caused by the police. This isn't the way to the Fountain Plaza. Okay, so, oh hey, you're new. Hey. Delcati, carefree city kitty. So cute. This sure is a cute Pokemon. Hey. Okay, so, what else do we got going on? Oh hey, it's you, it's Lil again. Oh, that flower's so pretty, and it smells nice too. How could this happen? Excuse me. Are you okay? Oh, sorry, I'm just so stressed out I started muttering to myself. Well, we're actually investigating the recent Pokemon incidents. If there's anything we can do to help, we'd love to try. Oh, that's too kind, thank you. What's stressing you out? Um... So, what exactly happened? When I got to my shop this morning, I saw that someone had messed up my flowers. So the Pokemon Protection Bureau came and investigated. But how could they accuse my Inteleon? Wait. Did they take your Inteleon away? Yes, but there's no way he'd ever do such a thing. About Pikachu. Excuse me. 
Did you happen to see a Pikachu two nights ago? The evening the Slowpoke statue in Fountain Plaza was damaged? I'm sorry, but I don't really remember. Okay. About the detained Pokemon. Could you tell us a bit more about your Italian? Inteleon is my partner. He's been with me forever, since we were both small. He loves flowers, and he always waters them so gently for me. I can't even imagine such a sweet Pokemon doing anything bad. But for some reason, the PPB is convinced that Inteleon ruined the flowers. Noted testimony. Wow, that's awful. Did anyone actually see Inteleon messing with the flowers? No, not a single eyewitness. But the PPB claims to have proof for some surveillance camera footage. Do you mind if we investigate the scene? We might learn something. Of course I don't mind. It happened right in my shop's flower display. Okay, so I guess we can investigate. Let's have a look at the shop's flower display, Tim. Okay, so right over here. This must be the flower display the police claim Inteleon ruined. All right. Okay, let's see what let's see what we can see. I mean, there's one plant pot knocked over to scratch on the wall. Pretty minor damage for a full arrested detainment. Huh? This pot doesn't have many flowers in it. Some of the flowers have spilled out. I wonder if Teleon could have done this. Over here, we do have a scratch in the wall. Huh? There's a cut in the wall. Looks like it was done by a sharp blade. Something that Inteleon doesn't have. A blade, huh? You know, Inteleon's tail is kind of knife-like. But my Inteleon has never once used its tail like that. All right. Looks like we've checked everything of note here. But there is still more to see, so we'll keep looking. Uh, down here, you can see some of the roses oh. were knocked over. Just looking at these potted flowers near the shop is helping me feel more relaxed. <laughs> okay. That's good to know, I guess. And then over here, these seem fine. Here's some potted flowers. They smell really nice. And is that it? Nothing about the flower shop sign seems to be out of the ordinary here. All right. I'm pretty sure we've checked out, out everything here. Okay, yeah, so we can back out of this one. And I guess talk to you again? Didn't really come to much conclusions, did we? Uh, yeah, let's see. Yeah, nothing new. Was there more to inspect on this side? Very weird. Uh, but yeah, I don't think you'll have too much new for us, but maybe you will. I hope you'll come see us use you a uh, sing the next time we're in the city. Okay. I hope I can hear your choir sing next time. It seems really happy. Maybe it's glad that his friends came back. It sounds a little sad. Maybe it's going to miss the city. Okay. There's also another person in front of the cafe. <sighs> I can't believe this is happening. Is something wrong? Have have you ever had your dearest friend taken away from you? That sounds heartbreaking. I know, right? And that's exactly what happened to me today. That's terrible. You wanna talk about it? Yeah, thanks. I'm talking if I am think talking through it might help me feel a little better about the experience. So tell me, what happened? Some people from the PBB suddenly showed up today. They rattled off a whole lot of accusations and then told me they were taking taking away my Morpakau. I tried to stop them, but they said they, they had proof and the law is the law. Morpekka looked so sad and defeated as the police took him away. How awful. Yeah, it really was. About Pikachu. Excuse me. Did you happen to see a Pikachu two nights ago? The evening the Slowpoke statue in Fountain Plaza was damaged? No, I didn't. I was at home that night. I see. About the detained Pokemon. Could you tell us a bit more about your Morpeko? Morpeko's my partner. He's just a cheerful little guy with a big appetite. I assume that's why the PPB suspected him. What do you mean? Apparently a Pokemon was causing trouble last night. They said a Pokemon stole someone's food right in front of this very cafe. Noted testimony. Morpeko had nothing to do with it, but the PPB wouldn't listen. So that's what happened. When Morpeko's hungry, he gets cranky, and his fur even changes color. But he's never stolen food before, not even once. I can't even imagine a little guy causing trouble for anyone. You don't say. I'll try looking around the scene here. Hey. So Morpeko supposedly caused tr some trouble in front of the Hi-Hat Cafe, right? 
Yeah, let's see if there's any evidence. Okay, so right here you can see there's definitely some kinds of signs of an impact. Marpeco's been accused of stealing some food. We better investigate carefully. Right. Okay, let's see what we can see. So first thing is this giant stain here. I guess we'll take an even closer look. Mm -hmm. The ground and wall look scorched. According to the PPP, Morpeka went berserk and has used his Aurora wheel. Scorched from an electric type move. Aurora wheel can change types based on how Morpeko is feeling, right? Yep, when Morpeko is in hangry mode, it's a dark type move. And when Morpeko is in full belly mode, it's an electric type move. If Morpeko's Aurora's Aurora wheel were electric type, that could have caused the scorch marks. But that would mean Morpeko stole someone's food, even though it had a full belly. Yeah, you're right. What's going on here? All right. Looks like we've checked everything of note here. Okay, so yeah, we can back up a little bit more. And over this way. Oh! It's the Hi Hat Cafe's menu. The sandwiches in here look delicious. Uh, and some coffee. Oh! Just a cup of coffee. Nothing strange about that. And uh, the sign, which I can't read. There's gotta be more though. Uh, there's you, hi. Uh, oh, the windows. Oh. The cafe windows are polished to a shine. All right. I'm pretty sure we've checked out everything here. See, as long as I can't, yeah, read like that window sign. I guess we're good there. Are we going inside? Whoa. Oh, it's the scientist. Wait, isn't that the guy who? Tim, why imagine us running into each other again? Here of all places. You're that guy who suddenly plucked some of Pikachu's fur. Yes, I'm Charles Murlock, scientist and policy mastermind of Rhyme City. Where's your partner, Pikachu? Don't tell me you two had a falling out. No, nothing like that. I know you. You're the one who keeps meeting with my dad. Well, well, the mayor's daughter. You know, Rhyme City has become rather dangerous lately. I know how much Howard worries about you. I suggest you head home soon. And I suggest you mind your business. Oh no, things are getting heated here. You've got a lot of explaining to do. What sort of ideas are you putting into Papa's head? And all these Pokemon management measures, are they you're doing as well? Oh my, oh dear. Seems I've caught you in a bad mood. Perhaps we should speak some other time. If you'll excuse me, until next time. He's just gonna walk off. Ah, uh, he left without answering a single question. You may have started off a bit too strong. I guess so. But yeah, if the scientist here is associated with some of these other suspicious characters, it might be the case that he's behind some of this too. Could he have designed the cubes on the Pokemon's back? Guess we'll have to find out soon enough. But for right now, let's go into the Hi Hat Cafe. Okay, so anything new to do in here? You look cheerful as ever, Ludicolo. Yeah, I feel a burst of motivation, like her energy's rubbing off on me. Uh, time to wake up, Snivy. Oh, it's a Sinus Tea. Say, what's a teapot doing here? Nah, quite an ordinary tea. Oh, no, Pol Tea Geist. A flavor steeped in mystery. What? Something's in there. That's a Pol Tea, tea, Pol tea Geist. It's a Pokemon that lives in a teapot. Oh, yeah. One day it showed up out of the blue, and it's been here ever since. Huh, cute. And over here, we got Pablo. If all this investigating has got you running on empty, the coffee break might put some fuel back in your tank. Thanks, Pablo, but I'm gonna keep at it a bit longer. Okay, but don't overwork yourself, got it? About another hey. Pikachu. How's the investigation going? It seems my partner may not be the only Pikachu in the city. Really? That'd be a surprise. As I said yesterday, your little detective is the only Pikachu I know. He's the only Pikachu who'd come here for a coffee, at any rate. Yeah, that's true. I guess we've just gotta keep looking, Tim. About the scorches on the cafe. Huh? Did you know there was a scorch mark on the wall outside of your cafe? Yeah, I'm just glad no one was hurt, and I'm pretty sure the damage was mostly superficial. That's a relief. The scorch mark looks like it was caused by a pretty powerful attack. Did you see it happen, Pablo? No, by the time I noticed, it was already like that. Not a fun surprise, let me tell you. And over here, this might be our friend. Hmm? Isn't this cup kinda? Yep, this is Sinistee. Vintage flavor. Whoa, it's a Pokemon? 
Hey, Sinistee, stop startling the customers. Wait, is this an, an, an antique form Sinistee? Could you let me see under the teacup really quick? Oh look, there's a mark. That means you're a rare little Sinistee, aren't you? What do you mean by antique form, Rachel? Most Sinistee are phony form Sinistee that inhabit forged teacups. But every now and then, a Sinistee takes a precedence in a valuable antique teacup. You can tell if there's a genuine antique by its mark of authenticity on the bottom. They're seriously rare. Wow, Rachel, you're not just knowledgeable, you've got an ex excellent eye for detail too. It looks like it's happy to receive so many compliments. It must be able to sense your excitement, Rachel. All right, well, that's pretty cool. Any other news happening on the TV? Oh, I think the mayor's big televised announcement is about to start. Papa? Hello, Rhyme City. This is your mayor speaking. In response to the unfortunate past events that took place in our city, we've labored tirelessly to bring people and Pokemon together in peace and safety. On the last day of Pokemon Friendship Week, I will unveil a revolutionary device, a culmination of our efforts. Mayor's working hard, I see. He looks serious about never letting anything like the R incident happen again. I wonder what that revolutionary device is. Beats me. Could be anything. Well, I'm a little worried that we might know exactly what it is. Bringing people and Pokemon together in peace and safety, huh? I'd hate it if, it, if that became an excuse to strip away Pokemon's freedom. Me too. And is the device on all the Pokemon's backs? Is that what they're talking about? That wouldn't be good. Because as you can see so far, it hasn't been used to do very many good things. All right, well, we're back out here in the town. Plenty more left to do. Mm hmm? Oh no. Huh? There's Brad again. Is he a detective? He's checking out the cart. I wonder if he found something. Huh. Hmm. Brad was looking around in Fan Plaza yesterday too. What in the world is he up to? He might be looking for more evidence of that case Pikachu's mixed up in. Yeah, maybe there's still something here. Let's go see for ourselves. Look for evidence related to Pikachu's case. Okay, well there's a bunch of stuff on the floor over here. All right. All right, time to examine this area. We're looking for evidence left by the culprit, which is another Pikachu, right? But how could it be any different from evidence that your Pikachu could have left? I'm not sure, but we won't figure out anything if we, if we don't look. Good point. We can't afford to overlook anything. All right. Let's check for any clues that could lead us to the Pikachu that caused this mess. So, there's some footsteps here. Oh. Look at these Pokemon tracks. They're pretty big. These definitely weren't made by Pikachu's paws. Anything else you can tell them from them, Tim? It looks like this Pokemon was headed towards the main street. Big footprints. Okay, there's some trash over here. Crumpled up piece of paper. There's some paper on the ground. It's just a crumpled piece of paper. I doubt it's got anything to do with the case. For sure, maybe we should open it up just in case. Oh, it's a bus ticket. I highly doubt a Pokemon rode the buff bus by itself. It would be fun if one did though. I bet that'd be a wild ride. And some leaves over here with tinier footprints. These might match Pikachu's. Oh, here are some Pokemon tracks. I can't say for sure if these were made by a Pikachu, but the size looks about right. The trail heads toward the back of the plaza that ends abruptly before it gets to Second Avenue. I wonder why. Small footprints. Second Avenue. I wonder if this is where Mighty Anna gets involved. And over here we have some more trash. Oh! There's some food on the ground. Maybe it's some of the food sold at this saw. Street food. All right. Nothing more to see here. All right, so we'll back up then. That's and... Thick. I guess we could deduce if we wanted to. But before we do, I would like to run around a little bit more and just see if there's anything else. Oh, right. Like there's the Burmy. I swear, you can find Burmy in the trees of just about any park in the city. Let's think. I know, soon enough, soon enough. What about you? Oh no, what do I do? This will be the end of us. Excuse me? What's wrong? It looks like something pretty serious. Please, you've got to help me. J just calm down. What exactly happened? Well, you see, I accidentally dropped my wedding ring. 
Oh no, that is really serious. I think it rolled into the gap between these buildings, but it's so narrow I can't reach down there. I can't show my face at home if I don't get it back. We can't fit in the gap that narrow either. But maybe a small Pokemon could. Good thinking, a long, slender Pokemon may just be what we need. Let's look around and see if we can find a, find one that's willing to help. Please do, I'm done for if, it, if I don't find that ring. Local concern accepted. Retrieve the wedding ring from the gap between the buildings. A man is in distress because he dropped his wedding ring between two buildings. Find a Pokemon that can squeeze into the gap. Let's think. Okay, so I have to look around for that too. I always like to try to look for the side quests. Uh, this really leads out of Fountain Plaza, but just so that we don't Let's miss see. them later. Uh, looks like there might be a little bit going on. Okay, Maractus, just do what you always do. And Snubble, you watch Maractus' moves and see if you can copy them. All right, that looks like it's going well. And there's Napalm here. Maybe you can help. Apom, masterful tail dexterity. Might be able to fit that tail between the buildings. Hey there, Apom. You better not be planning any pranks to play in the city, okay? I guess not. Huh. Let's think. And I could still check out this, right? I don't think there's anything new with it, though. Uh. The statue's still broken. But there's no way Pikachu did this. I've got to search harder. Let's think. Okay. Let's go for it then. As long as I can't leave through here. Hmm. This really is out of the fountain pause. Okay, yeah. Let's think. We'll deduce. We'll think. Sorry for the wait. <laughs> so, where did the other Pikachu go? We had three clues. Small footprints. A set of small footprints that Brad was investigating. They lead to Second Avenue, then trail off. Big footprints. A set of large footprints that Brad was investigating. They lead to the street where the Hi Hat Cafe is. Street food. Food that somebody dropped. It sold at the nearby food stall. Begin deducing. Mm -hmm. Let's figure out where the other Pikachu went. So, we have three options. Second Avenue. Based on the footprints left behind, it seems that the other Pikachu headed towards the Second Avenue. The main street. Large footprints lead to the main street, which means the owner of the, those footprints went there. Or another food stall. The food on the ground near the food stall suggests that the other Pikachu is probably walking around in search of a snack. I don't know if that's quite the case. I think that uh, the large footprints lead to the main street, which means the owner of those footprints went there, is probably our best bet. Or also, based on the footprints left behind, it seems that the other Pikachu headed to, yeah, Second Avenue. Okay. These little footprints are about the right size. They could belong to another Pikachu. Yes, they must. And if you follow the direction they're facing, it looks like they lead into that alley that goes to the Second Avenue. Maybe someone on Second Avenue saw the other Pikachu. Let's go check it out. All right, so there we go. It headed towards Second Avenue. There might be someone on Second Avenue who saw the other Pikachu. Let's go there then. This is the way to Second Avenue. Yeah, I hope we find someone who saw the Pikachu. So we actually haven't been down here yet. Are we going to Second Avenue? Sorry, my mistake. Uh, because the two Pokemon were fighting here before, so we're just gonna head down. Whoa, Second Avenue. So this looks like it's behind the police station. Mm -hmm. Well, here we are, Second Avenue. The police station is just to the left of the parking lot, full of police cars. And if we head towards the police station from here, that takes us back to the street to ha the Hi Hat Cafe is on. I don't see any more footprints from that Pokemon. It's like the, like it just disappeared. We'll need to question people for more information from here on out. Let's try to find someone who's been or seen the Pikachu. Okay, so interview people on Second Avenue about Pikachu. Can't really read what that sign says, but yeah. Let's ask that person if she's seen Pikachu. Excuse me. Excuse me, do you have a moment to talk? What about? About Pikachu. Excuse me. Did you happen to see a Pikachu two nights ago? The evening the Slowpoke statue in Fountain Plaza was damaged? No, I didn't. I assume it was detained by the PPB. The police detained by a Pikachu, yes, but we're looking for a different one. Oh, really? Sorry, I didn't see any Pikachu. Thanks, that's important information. About the detained Pokemon. Have you witnessed any of the recent Pokemon detainments? No, I haven't seen them myself. But it does seem as if more and more Pokemon are being detained lately. Yeah, it feels like there aren't nearly as many Pokemon out and about in the city. That may be related to this incident with Pikachu. So, 
We've got a new one here. What's behind the sudden increase in Pokemon detainments? More and more Pokemon in Rhyme City are being detained by the Pokemon Protection Bureau. These Pokemon have supposedly done bad things. Sounds like an awful lot of Pokemon here in Rhyme City are being detained, doesn't it? Yeah, even if something something's going on with the detained Pokemon, this all seems way too sudden. This may have something to do with the other Pikachu, so we ought to look into it. Sure, but how do we do that? The partners of the detained Pokemon might know something. Good point, all right, let's go look for their partners. So we can't begin deducing right now if we really wanna get a good proper answer. So let's keep looking around as much as we can this second avenue area. See the police station is right over there, but uh, Phalanx, uh, can I talk to them? I guess not. They're just marching around. I hope they don't get detained soon. We have two officers over here. Huh, the mood in the city feels really different these days. Pokemon keep causing one problem after another. What's up with that? So maybe they're not really in on it? We've had so many Pokemon detainments assignments lately, it's pretty shocking how much they've spiked. The number of incidents just keeps rising lately. I need to be ready to rush to a crime scene at any moment. No matter when an incident happens, I'll be ready to head out immediately. Okay, anything down here in the parking lot of the police station? There's a lot of spots for Pokemon. Oh, hey! Or not Pokemon, but for police cars. Hatena, searching for serenity. Hmm, what's this Pokemon? I guess that's it, okay. Uh, I don't see too much else to do around here. Feels like nobody else in the city has cars, but the police station has like 20 spots. All right, uh, this place is the best burgers. I could eat here five times a day and never get sick of them. Five times a day? That would be going a bit overboard. About Excuse Pikachu. Me. Did you happen to see a Pikachu two nights ago? The evening the Slowpoke statue in Fountain Plaza was damaged? Nope, sure didn't. I was here that night though. But judging from the tracks, the Pikachu we're, we're looking for must have walked down this road. So where could it have gone? About the detained Pokemon. Have you witnessed any of the po recent Pokemon detainments? I haven't actually seen any, but I've certainly heard some rumors. People saying the police were buying stuff. I sure don't like all the trouble in the city. Makes it so hard just to relax and eat. Okay, we got some uh, Spearows here, I think. And then, whoa, Lickitung. What, is that Lickitung? It might not be. Huh, I just can't believe it, Impidimp. Excuse me. What's wrong? Apparently my partner Impidimp got himself into a whole heap of trouble. Impidimp are known for pulling pranks, aren't they? Can't argue with that. Maybe this was a prank gone too far? Do you mind sharing some details with us? about Impidimp. So what happened exactly? The Pokemon Protection Bureau took my partner Impidimp away. It happened so suddenly, I was completely blindsided. I'm partially still in shock. Did one of Impidimp's pranks cause too much trouble for someone? Good guess, that's just what the PPB said. But somehow I just can't believe it. About Pikachu. Excuse me. Did you happen to see a Pikachu two nights ago? The evening the Slowpoke statue in front of, in Fountain Plaza damn it, was damaged? No, I'm afraid not. We're trying to crack down or track down whoever broke that Slowpoke statue. Oh, you're a detective? I hope you find the culprit. About the detained Pokemon. What kind of trouble did Impidimp supposedly cause? They say my silly little Impidimp stole someone's valuables. Noted testimony and that it happened right here, in front of this burger joint. Supposedly, a security camera recorded the whole thing, and they've got a clear image of Impidimp. But I just can't believe it. Despite all appearances, Impidimp's really a good little fella. He likes shiny things, so yeah, sometimes he'll bring me stuff he finds on the ground. But only things that are just lying there. He doesn't steal from people. Hmm, I'd really like to believe you. I guess I can see why you doubt me. Poor Impidimp. I wonder if Impidimp really is guilty, though. I'd like to examine the scene for a moment. Mm -hmm. The incident that Impidimp is accused of happened right in front of the burger shop. Let's look for some evidence. Okay, so right over here we can investigate. This is where Impidimp reportedly stole someone's valuables. There might be some clues around. All right. Okay, let's see what we can see. So first we got this statue. Oh. Licky Licky is the burger joint's mascot. Whoever they got to make this statue did a good job. 
Uh, we've got the menu over here, the doors on the way in, and another poster. Oh. A poster for the burger joint. Looks like they're running a special deal right now. And then of course the sign, the oh. menu again. The burger joint's menu. A burger should would hit the spot right now. And is that a coin on the bottom, a quarter? There's a really shiny coin on the ground. Shiny coin. Did this get dropped here during the incident with Impidimp? If so, that'd be a little strange. Yeah, we did hear that Impidimp loves shiny things. Exactly, Impidimp would have picked this coin up. So, then why is this coin here? All right. Looks like we've checked everything of note here. So we can back up a little bit and see if there's anything else around. There's a trash can. Oh, there's a sign up here. An illuminated sign displaying the name of the burger joint. I don't see anything out of the ordinary. All right. I'm pretty sure we've checked out everything here. Okay, so let's back up. Let's think. And we have enough to start doing some deductions, but I do want to look around a little bit more just to see if there's anything else. Uh, Cause it looks like it keeps going way down this way and we have the quiz professor too. So yeah, there's lots to stay busy with that I would like to take the advantage of if I can. So let's get over here and uh, I guess talk to the quiz master. Yeah, sure, let's do this. Hello, detective. Um, I think I've met you before somewhere, right? Come on, of course you have. It's me, the quiz professor, remember? Oh, but where's your Pikachu? Isn't he usually with you? Pikachu's got something else going on today. So, am I getting quizzed again? Why not? It'll be a good change of pace, and I'll help too. Oh my, is this your girlfriend? And please, by all means, you two can work on this quiz together. And now for Pokemon quiz question number one. What aromantic Pokemon has a beautiful flower whilst blooming from its head? A flower on its head? I feel like I've seen that before. Yeah, do you think it'd be somewhere with lots of flowers? Let me know when you found it. Okay, so take the quiz professor's Pokemon quiz. The quiz professor's quizzing you about Pokemon. Search the city for Pokemon that match her hints. Okay, well for that one, I don't know if it'll let us leave right now, but if it does, I wanna head out this way because I know exactly where that Pokemon is. In Fountain Plaza, there was the, uh, I forget what it's named right now, but it was in front of the flower shop. So that should be a perfect match to what we're after. So let's rush over and, oh yeah, over here. This is definitely it. Lilligan. Oh, it's Lilligan. It's got a beautiful flower and a really nice aroma. Tim, let's report this to the quiz professor. The answer's gotta be Lilligan. All right, sure, let's go. Okay, so just rushing straight back over and back to the quiz professor. We've got a good idea of like which Pokemon are in the area, so hopefully the quiz professor's questions won't be too difficult. Okay, so back over here. I think you've got the answer, detective. Yeah, this was an easy one. The answer is Lil again. Bingo, that didn't seem like a challenge for you at all. As you can see, Lilligan can make a beautiful flower bloom on its head, but it requires constant attention. If you don't take proper care of the garland, it'll wither away. And also, essential oils made from Lilligan's flowers sell for unbelievable prices. Well, I'd already seen a Lilligan before, so the answer just kind of sprung to mind. Well, sounds like this was a smooth sailing for you. Then, now on to question number two. What Pokemon has fluffy fur around its neck, loves to stay clean, and lives as it pleases? Huh, I'm imagining a luxurious pampered Pokemon, but what kind? We got a hint about fluff around its neck, but nothing on where to find it. Go on then, get searching and let me know when you figure it out. I'm pretty sure that's the cat that we saw right next to the Lilligan, so I might run right back down here and see if that's it. I'd be pretty sure of that because it has the fur around its neck, it's a very elegant Pokemon, enjoys the city, we'll see. Yeah, you right here. This sure is a cute Pokemon. Oh, that's Delcaddy, it really is cute. Do you suppose it's going for a walk? It seems pretty used to humans. Do you think this one is someone's partner? This fur around its neck is like a fluffy scarf. Charming, isn't it? I could keep petting it all day. Oh wait, doesn't that fit the characteristics the quiz professor described? Oh, you may be right. Let's go give her our answer. All right, let's run all the way back over. That's the only downside to the quiz. Is that there's a lot of running back and forth, but you know what, it's fine. We'll get all the way back over there. And uh, where were they? Right here, so. So detective, have you figured out the answer? Right. 
Yes, I have. It's still catty, isn't it? Oh, correct. Well, is this one a little difficult? The caddy eats, sleeps, and lives as it pleases, at its own pace. It's very proud of its fur and prefers to keep it clean, so it hates dirty places. If Pikachu were here, he probably would have gotten into an argument about the whose fur was glossier. Aren't they usually nocturnal too? Seems rare to find one during the day. Oh, I see you know a thing or two about Pokemon. How splendid. And now, without further ado, on to the third and final question. Well, Pokemon can sense emotions via the protrusion on its head and prefers secluded places. Those are all the hints you got. The protrusions on its head, what could that be? I guess we've just have to check some areas where there aren't a lot of people around. All right, detective, use those legs of yours and find the answer. So I'm pretty sure that's the Hatena that we passed in the parking lot of the police office, which is right over here. So we'll run all the way down and is this the Pokemon we're looking for? It is! What a quiet Pokemon. Do you know what it is, Rachel? Yes, this is Hatena. It almost never shows itself in front of humans. Well, it is pretty quiet back here in the parking lot. I suppose not a lot of people come here. This Pokemon only appears in front of people with calm hearts and minds. I'd say that describes you, Tim. It must have popped out to see you. You say so. Oh, wait. This antenna might be the Pokemon the quiz professor was talking about. Now that you mention it, it could be. Let's go tell her. Okay, so we're running right back over. You can see her in the distance behind the, the gate. So I'll run right over here and give you your answer. So detective, have you figured out the answer to my final right. question? Yes, I believe I have. The answer is Hatena, right? Oh, so you did get it. Well done and congratulations. You've probably noticed this already, but Hatena prefers areas without a lot of people. The emotions of others are constantly flowing into its head, so it'll run away if it detects strong feelings. You have to be very good at emotional regulation if you hope to have a, a Hatena as your partner. That sounds like a really sensitive Pokemon. I wonder if Hatena would have appeared there if I'd been by myself. Huh. Well, that's all for today's quiz. Excellent job getting every answer right. Cool, so we get that one done. Take the quiz professor's Pokemon quiz. We still have more to get done, of course, but in the meantime. Aw, it's Furret, squirming through for a visit. So cute. Oh look, a Furret. You think this Pokemon would fit inside that gap? Oh, to get that guy's wedding ring? Yeah, Furret would be perfect for the job. Let's ask it. Hey Furret, someone lost something important to him. We could really use your help getting him out of this pinch. Hmm, I don't think it understands. Please, he's in a lot of trouble. We seriously need your help. Did it understand? Even if it didn't understand your words, your feelings came out loud and clear. I hope so. The person who needs help is over in Fountain Plaza. Can you go help him for it? I guess so. Okay. I think you really did go off to help him. That'd be such a relief. Come on, let's go see. Hi there, this fur just showed up out of nowhere and heroically retrieved my ring for me. You caught it for me, right? Thank you so much. It really saved my mm -hmm. knack. No, don't thank us. Thank fur it. Well done, fur it. Really, thank you for me and Tim as well. Please be careful not to drop anything that important from now on, okay? <laughs> I'll do what I can. I can't help just staring at my ring. It reminds me of how happy my marriage is. You sound like a really lovely couple. I have to say though, I'm pretty surprised that a fur was able to tell what we wanted. I experienced that a lot when I was a kid, actually. <laughs> Maybe it's a trait I passed down from mama. Even when we can't communicate with words, we can still understand each other's feelings. Okay, so retrieve the wedding ring from the gap between the buildings complete. So we're still trying to find berries for pig night, but we're well on our way. We can also catch up with Furret. Thanks for your help earlier, Furret. And can we go over this way? Oops, no reason for us to go this way. Okay, so I guess not. We will run all the way back over here. Oh, oh. the tree. This tree's got berries in it. Pig Knight would probably like these ones. Then let's hurry and get these to Pig Knight's partner. Okay, yeah, perfect. Oh, detective, did you find some berries? Mm -hmm. Yes, these were growing on a tree in Fountain Plaza. Oh yes, these look perfect for Pig Knight. You're right, it looks really happy. Now you can go camping, right? Yes, thank you both so much. So, fine berries for pig night solved. 
So that's all the side quests so far, and they're all figured out. So I'm sure there's still more we can do, because I know we can do our deduction, but if there's any other areas I can poke around too, I definitely want to try. Just because getting the side quest done sooner rather than later is usually pretty important. And you know, no matter what, we're still making progress and having fun, so I'm enjoying it. I don't think there's any point in going this way. What about up here? Okay, we can go this way where, oh, look at these two. So adorable. Uh, and you two as well. Excuse me. Hi there, do you mind if I ask you some questions? What do you need? About Pikachu. Excuse me. Did you happen to see a Pikachu two nights ago, the evening the Slowpoke statue in Fountain Plaza was damaged? Oh, right. There was a commotion at Fountain Plaza, wasn't there? I was there th that whole evening, and I didn't see any Pikachu. So the culprit didn't come through this square either? About the detained Pokemon. Have you witnessed any of the recent Pokemon detainments? Well, I heard that a Pokemon caused some trouble in front of the Hi-Hat ha Hi Cafe. But I didn't see it for myself, so I don't know anything else about it. Huh. I love slow, lazy days when the weather's nice like this. Mm. Me too, but we haven't been able to take things very slowly lately. Oh? What's the rush? Is something wrong? About Pikachu. Excuse me. Did you happen to see a Pikachu two nights ago? The evening the Slowpoke statue in the Fountain Plaza was damaged? I saw Morpeko and Dedenne, but no Pikachu. Hey Tim, you think it's possible that the culprit was actually Morpeko or Dedenne? No, I unfortunately don't think so. Chief Fuller said he had proof that a Pikachu did it, but I believe it must have been a different Pikachu. About, about the detained Pokemon. Have you witnessed any of the recent Pokemon detainments? No, I've only heard rumors. A Pokemon apparently stole some someone's valuables, for example. Sounds like all we need to be is, well, we all need to be careful. I had better keep a firm grip on my belongings. Okay, well, I don't see too much else we can do in this little corner. So, if that's really it, let's go ahead and deduce our findings. We got quite a lot of stuff here, so what's behind the sudden increase in Pokemon detainments? Let's look at all of our clues. Knife-like cut. A cut made by the knife concealed in Intellion's tail. The detained Intellion apparently doesn't use its knife, however. Scorch from an electric type move. A scorch caused by Morpeko's electric type move, Aura Wheel. When Morpeko is hungry, however, this move is no longer electric type. Shiny coin. A shiny coin left behind at a crime scene. The impotent that supposedly committed the crime is obsessed with shiny objects. Intellion ruined flowers. Intellion was detained because he allegedly messed up the flowers at the floor shop. Morpeko stole food. Morpeko was detained because he allegedly stole somebody's food. Impidimp stole valuables. Impidimp was detained because he allegedly stole somebody's valuables. Okay, begin to do so. Mm -hmm. Let us use the information we've gathered to figure out what's going on with these Pokemon. Did the, the, those Pokemon want, want people's belongings? Based on the testimony that a Pokemon took someone's valuables, the detained Pokemon may have acted out because they wanted people's belongings. Were those Pokemon upset about something? We heard testimony that a Pokemon messed up some flowers. Perhaps the Pokemon were really upset for some reason. Are innocent Pokemon being detained? According to their partners, the Pokemon were all detained for doing things they normally wouldn't do. They may have been framed for crimes that other Pokemon committed. Are the Pokemon hungry? We heard that a Pokemon stole somebody's food, so maybe the Pokemon were really hungry. I think it's his third one. I think the innocent Pokemon are being okay. detained. None of the evidence left at the crime scene seemed like things those Pokemon would likely leave behind. That's true, and their partners were in shock because the Pokemon were accused of doing something completely out of character. Just like when Pikachu was arrested, the same thing keeps happening. There's photographic evidence for every crime, though. As strange as this all seems, it'd be difficult to convince the PPB that something's off. Every crime has photo evidence, and the Pokemon are behaving out of character. What if those Pokemon are being framed? What? What makes you say that? Oh, uh, sorry, I guess that's a pretty big claim. I can't say for sure. Still, a lot of things at the crime scenes just don't add up. I don't think we can rule it out just yet. If that is what's happening, I sure hope we can do something to help those Pokemon. Me too. So, are innocent Pokemon being detained? And our next thing, what is the Pokemon Protection Bureau doing? It's strange that the PPB detains Pokemon based on little evidence, without even investigating the crime scenes. Talk to the police for more information. 
Let's say for the moment that the PPB and the police are framing innocent Pokemon. That's the case, what are they trying to accomplish? Hmm, are they just detaining Pokemon without doing thorough investigations? Or is there more to it than that? I couldn't say why, but maybe detaining Pokemon isn't the means to an end. Maybe it's their actual goal. You mean the PPB and the police are just out there trying to pump up their numbers? Did they really have that little respect for Pokemon? Whoa, Rachel, wait a sec. We need to investigate a bit more before we draw any conclusions. Things aren't quite adding up just yet. You're right, sorry, I got a little heated just now. It's okay, let's start asking people in the city about the recent detainments. Sounds good. So I guess for right now we need to look around and ask more people. The people who should know about the most about the Pokemon detainments are the Pokemon Protection Bureau and the police. But Inspector Holiday didn't know much of anything. Maybe we should ask some of the other police officers. Good idea, let's do that. Okay, so interview the police officers. Okay, so the police officers should be right back down here. There were two of them by the parking lot, and I'm sure there'll be more in front and of course inside the building. So will they have anything new to say? If danger rears its head, you can trust the Rhyme City Police to protect and serve. Excuse me. Sorry, I'd just like to ask you a few questions, if that's okay. Questions for me? I'm happy to answer anything I can. About Pokemon Detainment. Is Pokemon Detainment one of your assignments? Yes, it sure is. And we're being extra vigilant for the remainder of the Pokemon Friendship Week. Mayor Myers has been promoting it a lot recently. Yes, he has. Pokemon Friendship Week has, was created in response to the R incident two years ago. Noted testimony. It represents our ideals of peaceful coexistence with Pokemon. As officers of the law, we work hard to protect that peace. Oh, I see. The police are lucky to have an officer like you. If anything happens, we'll be here, we'll, we'll be there in no time, so you can put your mind at ease. Thanks to the state-of-the-art surveillance cameras we've been using, not a single incident slips by unrecorded. Are the cameras really all that special? They are. Our cameras have captured the incriminating moment in every recent incident. Huh. City surveillance cameras. Really? Every last one? Are you sure that isn't just a coincidence? I'm sure those cameras are amazing, but that sounds too good to be true. We don't have a lot of surveillance camera at our, we don't have a lot of surveillance cameras at our disposal, but the few we use are extremely effective. Huh. We've had so many Pokemon detainment assignments lately, it's pretty shocking how much they've spiked. Excuse me. Actually, that's exactly what I'd like to ask you about. Huh, fancy that. About Pokemon detainment. Is Pokemon detainment one of your assigned duties? Yes, it is. Recently, it feels like detaining Pokemon is all I do. Frankly, that's supposed to be the PPP's responsibility. But they're such a new organization, they don't have enough personnel, leaving police officers like me to pick up their slack. That sounds really tough. I'm sure department already has enough on their plate. Well, I wouldn't say that. The official story is that the PPP was formed to assist the police, keep, keep us from spreading ourselves too thin, that sort of thing. But between you and me, I'm City's never given us more police work than we can handle. No to testimony. Huh. I think the PPB was established as part of the mayor's vision for the city. But, and this goes without saying, working with people in Pokemon are two different ball games. Yeah, people have their individual quirks, but at least we're all one species. Pokemon, on the other hand, Exactly. There's an infinite number of variables we need to be able to respond to in any given situation. Sometimes it all feels way above my pay grade, but with the direction the mayor and the PPB are taking things, there's not much I can do. Let's think. All right, so open the case notebook and begin to do something. I will in just a moment, but I figured we'd go up here and see if there's any other police officers we can chat with just in case. Even though if we can come to a de deduction now, maybe it's just worth it to go for it. Let's think. Let's see. Can I talk to you? I can. Incidents have been on the rise lately. Take care of yourself out there. Excuse me. Excuse me, I'd like to ask a few questions, if that's all right with you. About Pokemon Detainment. Is something wrong? We're actually looking for the people who've been handling Pokemon Detainment. That's not one of my assignments. My duties keep me here at the station. Then how can we get in touch when someone who hasn't been assigned to Pokemon Detainment? Why don't you try asking the two officers in the parking lot out back? Okay, well we already did, so let's go ahead and start to do something. What is the Pokemon Protection Bureau doing? 
Our first clue is Pokemon Friendship Week, an event created after the R incident to represent Rhyme City's ideals of peaceful coexistence between people and Pokemon. Police officers' duties. The police never had more work than they could handle, but because the Pokemon Protection Bureau is understaffed, the police now have to take on some of their duties. City surveillance cameras. Surveillance ca cameras installed around Rhyme City. There aren't very many of them, but it seems they've captured the incriminating moment of every recent incident. All right, let's begin to do something. Mm -hmm. Let's think about whether there's anything strange about PPB's activity. So, the PPB is too busy in rushing their investigations. A police officer said they've been busy lately because the number of Pokemon-related assignments have increased. They probably don't have enough personnel, so their investigations have gotten sloppy. The PPB is staging incidents. There are only a few surveillance, surveillance cameras in the city, yet every incident was called on camera. No matter how you slice it, that's too convenient to be a coincidence. The PPB is overzealously detaining Pokemon to prevent future R incidents. Pokemon Friendship Week was established after the R incident. Maybe the PPB is overzealously detaining Pokemon because they're afraid of similar incidents happening again. I think it really might be the middle one here. The PPB is staging incidents. With everything else that we know behind the scenes with Pikachu, I think this might be the one. Okay. Morpeko, Impidimp, Inteleon, and Pikachu. A lot of Pokemon have been detained in different places. Yet somehow, the few surveillance cameras in the city managed to film each one of them. Seems too good to be true. Not to mention the surveillance cameras caught the exact moment each crime was committed. Right? Seems a bit too convenient. Maybe the PPB staged cr the crimes and filmed them. That's definitely a possibility. All right, so I think we got our conclusion there. Is the PPB staging incidents? I guess we have to find out. All this time I've just assumed there was another Pikachu, and now I'm having second thoughts. What do you mean? So many Pokemon have caused incidents and have been detained in such a short time. And it seems that the incriminating detail for every one of these incidents has been captured on the camera. Rather than finding a double for each and every one of these Pokemon, it would be much easier for them to use just one Pokemon capable of passing as any one of the others. If they had a Pokemon that could do that, yeah, if they had a Pokemon like that, it could explain how so many of these incidents occurred in such a short time. So what we should be looking for is a Pokemon that can look like other Pokemon. And as we learned with Pikachu, there is one, it's Ditto. Right, let's ask around more. So our new possible query, which Pokemon is the culprit? Ask people in the city if they saw the Pokemon that really caused these incidents. Even if the Pokemon Protection Bureau staged the incidents, the actual crimes had to have been committed by a Pokemon. All the partners of the detained Pokemon are sa have said the same thing. They're convinced that their Pokemon would never commit the crimes they've been accused of. I can really only think of one possible explanation. A different Pokemon than the ones that were detained committed all the crimes. We've gotta find Pokemon that can make itself look like other Pokemon. Yeah, let's go ask some folks in the city. Okay, so I guess nobody specific. Find the Pokemon that can look like the other. So I'll just run up the people, I suppose. No reason for us to go this way. We'll just run up the people and see what some of them might be able to say about this situation, like you. Uh, how could this happen? A Pokemon that can look like others. Excuse me. Can you think of any Pokemon able to make itself look like a different one? I know some Pokemon that look like flowers or trees or what have you. Is that what you mean? No, I mean the Pokemon responsible for this may have passed itself off as Inteleon. Oh dear. I have heard somewhere in the city is a Pokemon that knows the move Transform, but I don't know any more details than that. Just that detail is very helpful. Thank you. Whatever this Pokemon is, it's somewhere in the city. Let's try to find it, Tim. Okay, will do. So that gives us some info, but I will just continue to run around. Oh, talk to you. I'm so lonely without more Peko. A Pokemon that can look like others. Excuse me. Can you think of any Pokemon able to make itself look like a different one? Huh? I don't understand the question. We well, think a different Pokemon may have passed itself off as more Peko. Oh, if that's true, that means more Peko is innocent. But, well, I can't think of any Pokemon like that. Could you keep asking around? Maybe someone else will know. Not too many leads that time. Uh, but we know that right over here, I think there was some more info. 
uh, more people to get more info at the least. I'm, I'm guessing all the people who actually had Pokemon that got detained are who we want to talk to. So we have you over here. Huh, what have you gotten yourself into, Impidimp? A Pokemon that can look like others. Excuse me. Can you think of any Pokemon able to make itself look like a different one? Yeah, I once met an old lady who had a ditto for her partner. I'm pretty sure she even lived here on the second avenue, if memory serves. Really? Thanks very much. Let's keep asking around. So we might be really close to our answer here. Let's keep going down because I know that there were two ladies down this way. Oh, ditto dear. Hmm? Did you hear someone calling for something? Ditto. <sighs> Where can it be? Oh, I bet that's Ditto's partner. I think that voice is coming from back here. Let's go check. Is it you two? Maybe not. Uh, oh, it must be you. Excuse me. Hello there. Do you mind if I ask you some questions? Sure, go right ahead. I've been so lonely. It's nice to have a distraction. What's troubling you? Well, what's wrong? Well, you see, my dear Ditto went missing a while ago. So that was your voice we heard just now. Yes, I've been looking for it everywhere, but I just can't find it. I'm worried sick. I hope it shows up again soon. Thanks for trying to cheer me up. I really do miss my Ditto. Ditto loves to play by using Transform. It turns into all sorts of things. But my little one isn't actually very good at using Transform. It can only imitate what it sees with its own eyes. Noted testimony. Now that is some important information. Sometimes it gets the shape a bit wrong, but that just makes it even cuter. Huh. Aww. That poor woman. She said Ditto's been missing for a little while now, right? I know it fits the profile for what we've been searching for, but could it really have gotten tangled up in all these incidents? It's possible, yeah. Is there any way to be sure? Yes, I can ask Pikachu. Ask Pikachu? Oh, uh, yeah, it's about time for my visit with him. So I'll discuss, I mean, uh, talk with, you know, let's just go see how he's doing. Are you sure I can join in on the, on the visit, even though I'm not his partner? Yeah, it should be fine. Come on, let's go. So let's go and visit Pikachu. Of course, we'll be right down this way. So, I'll have to head over here. Am I going the long way around? Okay, I'm good. Okay. Oh, we can also talk to Manatric. Well, aren't you a lively Manatric? Wow, Rachel, you're not even nervous around police Pokemon? Let me explain our Pokemon partner visitation rules. Visits are allowed in the afternoons. You can visit your partner a maximum of twice per day, but they cannot be consecutive visits. Are you ready to visit your partner? Yes. Then follow me. Yes. So this is the visitation room. I feel a little nervous in here. Oh yeah, it's your first time here. Uh, wait, what is it, Tim? Oh, uh, nothing. Could you actually wait a second for me, Rachel? Yikes, what do I do? I've been keeping the fact that Pikachu and I can speak together to, you, to each other a secret. What's Rachel going to think when she sees me talking to him? If we're going to keep investigating together, I should just tell her the truth. Are you okay, Tim? You look like you're thinking awfully hard. Rachel, there's something I want to tell you. What is it? It sounds pretty serious. I don't expect you to believe me, but the truth is... I can understand everything Pikachu says. I know it must be shocking to hear someone say a thing like that. If you don't believe me, I understand. Amazing. Huh? That's incredible, Tim. I'm so jealous that you can communicate with Pokemon. So when you said you'd been solving cases with Pikachu, you meant it literally. How are you able to talk with him? Do you know how that happened? Honestly, I'm not too sure myself. He's the only Pokemon I can understand too. Pikachu interprets for me when I'm speaking to other Pokemon. Wow, Pikachu's pretty clever. It must be your strong bond of trust with Pikachu that lets you understand him. Hmm, we were able to talk as soon as we met. Then maybe you just instinctually understand each other's feelings from the start? Yeah, maybe. But hey, you're pretty amazing yourself, you know. You've studied so much about Pokemon and it's clear how much you care about them. Thanks, Tim, I appreciate you saying that. I've always, 
always felt this way, that I want to understand Pokemon better and have them understand me as well. Always, huh? Yeah, a Pokemon rescued me when I was just a little kid, you know? Once, when I got lost in the forest in Bamboo Burrow, an Ursa Ring helped me out. An Ursa Ring? That's right. I was cold, lonely, and crying, but it stayed by my side and kept me safe. I know that Ursa Ring helped me because it could understand what I was feeling, and that's why I wholeheartedly believe that Pokémon and humans can understand each other's feelings. My mother. I learned that from her. Understanding each other's feelings. That's really nice. <laughs> mm-hmm. That's so sweet. <laughs> I remember that day so clearly. That Ursa Ring and I really connected back then, heart to heart. And when I told Mama and Papa about it, they said that humans and Pokemon were always meant to be that close. But Papa's changed. All this Pokemon management stuff is so unlike him, and when they've done nothing wrong. I understand how you feel, Rachel. Thanks, Tim. Okay, so what do yes. we do now? Do you think Pikachu will get here soon? Hey, man, I may not be able to understand him, but it'll be a relief just to see him safe and sound. Yeah, that's how I felt when I visited him yesterday. Oh, here he is. Here's Pikachu. Hey. Wonder if Tim's made any progress in his investigation. Hey, Tim. Thanks for coming to see me. I'm glad you, to see you're okay, Pikachu. Oh, and Rachel's here too. Hey, Tim, you sure this is okay? Wanting to see her to let's talk like this? About that, I actually just told Rachel our secret a minute ago. She knows that you and I can talk to each other. Wow, that's pretty bold of you. Did she even believe you? Yeah, she even said she was jealous. <laughs> well, that's a relief. Rachel's a bit of an odd one, isn't she? Either way, there's still an officer in the room, so we should try to keep it down. Yeah, I know. So anyway, let's get straight to the point. I've got something to report to you, Tim. I've managed to get help from the other Pokemon in the detainment rooms. Now, I can see into all sorts of different places inside the police station. Wow, that's fantastic. Good thing you figured out how to get along with them. Or not exactly best of friends, of best friends or anything like that, but I guess that's okay. There's something else I wanted to talk to you about too. Come on, let's pull our information. What have you found? I found this photo of the incident occurring at Fountain Plaza. Check it out. It's a Pikachu. And I don't gotta tell you it's not me. The other Pikachu's the real culprit. But that's your hat in the picture. Yeah, somebody must have gotten it specifically to frame me. But it's obvious that it isn't me, right? Right. You've got stripes on your back, but the Pikachu in this photo doesn't have any. Ooh, stripes on Pikachu's back. Exactly, and I'm curious about that thing on its back. It's the same device that I've got on my back right now, too. Cube-shaped device on Pikachu's back. I asked around the city yesterday about those devices. Based on the testimony I gathered, I'm pretty sure they're meant to keep Pokemon pacified. To keep them from going berserk, you mean? Where, th where the other Pikachu went? Were you able to track down the real culprit, the other Pikachu? No. We found some tracks, but they trailed off. I don't know where it went. Too bad. Sorry I haven't been able to prove your innocence yet. Hey, no need to apologize. I know you're trying your best. If you couldn't find it, you couldn't find it. What's important is what you do next. Yeah, and as for that double of yours, I think there's a high chance that a different Pokemon was impersonating you. You think so? Now there's an intriguing theory. About the Pokemon in the station. Mm -hmm. By the way, Pikachu, what kinds of Pokemon are you helping in there? There's lots of them, but the most helpful one is Luxray. He's a bit rough around the edges, but he can see through objects and use powerful electric type moves. Powerful electric type moves. That fission thing sounds pretty handy, but if he knows strong electric type moves. Let me stop you right there. I don't think Luxray is the culprit at all. If he were, the PPB wouldn't have had any cause to arrest me in the first place. Yeah, good point. Oh, and that reminds me. Luxray asked me to pass on a message to you. What is it? 
He wants to know how his friend Mightyena is doing out there. The two of them got in a fight, and Luxray is worried about what happened in the aftermath. He says Mightyena usually hangs around 2nd Avenue. Got it, I'll keep an eye out for Mightyena and let you know how it's doing. Thanks, Tim. Hey. So, any guesses about what Pokemon's pretending to be me? I have an idea, but I need to consider all the possibilities. Let's see. What okay, think? so we can sort of go to deduction, but yes. let me talk to Rachel first. How did your talk with Pikachu go? As it turns out, he's been investigating the police station top to bottom. Wow, just like a spy. Hey, I'm not a spy, I'm a great detective. Let's think. Okay, so let's deduce. Actually, I wanna see if I can't talk to Pikachu. Uh, mm -hmm. I've got all the, okay, so I guess it doesn't let me do that. Uh, sure. So which Pokemon is the culprit? We have a couple of hints to read first. Stripes on Pikachu's back. Pikachu has stripes on his back, but they're not in the evidence photo that was taken when the crime was committed. Cube-shaped device on Pikachu's back. A cube-shaped device attached to Pikachu's back. The device is glowing in the photo that was taken when the incident occurred. Broken statue. A statue of Slowpoke, the symbol of Fountain Plaza. It was destroyed by a strong force. Powerful Electro-type moves. Luxray's Electro-type moves are apparently very powerful. Pikachu fainted after being hit by one, despite being an Electro-type himself. Ditto's quirk. The missing Ditto isn't good at using Transform. Apparently, it can only imitate what it sees with its own eyes. The Pokemon suddenly calmed down. The detained Pokemon suddenly stopped resisting and became calm after a police officer attached devices to their backs. Okay, let's begin to do something. Oh no, I pressed the B button, not the A button. There we go. Mm -hmm. So which Pokemon is the culprit? Which Pokemon committed the crimes? Let's think it over. So we have either, is Luxray the culprit? Luxray can apparently use very powerful Electro-type moves. He could have destroyed the statue. Is Ditto the culprit? The Pikachu in the photo doesn't have any stripes on its back. That must be because the Pikachu is actually Ditto. That isn't good at using Transform. It can only imitate what it can see. Is Pikachu the culprit? A cube-shaped device was attached to Pikachu's back. That means he might have committed the crime when he wasn't conscious of what he was doing. I really think it might be the one in the middle. Ditto being the culprit. A Ditto, huh? Yeah, a Ditto could have made itself look like me. Ditto's partner said that Ditto can only copy things it can see. That probably explains where no, why there were no stripes on the Pikachu's back in the photo. But I've looked over every de detainment cell and I didn't see a ditto in any of them. That's strange. If it was detained, it should be in a detainment cell. Guess I better search the other rooms in the station. I'm pretty sure it might be in the actual captain's room or the chief. A ditto that used transform? I guess so. If the PPB and the police have been using a ditto, then they're definitely up to no good. So that's it. What is it, Tim? I saw Brad out and about several times while I was investigating. He seemed to be examining the scene of the crime, a crime which already had a culprit. It's kinda suspicious. I really don't wanna suspect Brad, but I can't help but wonder what he's up to. Yeah, Brad may be a bit of a jerk, but still, we've known him for two years now. I don't like having to think of him as a suspect. But you need to look into what he's been up to, Tim. But, Tim, you're a detective, aren't you? You're not trying to bring Brad down, you're only trying to uncover the truth. Yeah, you're right. And look into the cube-shaped devices, too. I understand their function to pacify Pokemon, but that alone doesn't explain everything. You're right, the Pikachu in the photo damaged that Slowpoke statue. The devices may have some other function as well. So, our new query, right over here, what was Brad doing at the, the crime scenes? Brad was spotted at the crime scenes. Could he be involved in these incidents? Ask people in the city about Brad. I wonder what Brad was doing at the crime scenes. Suppose you could just ask him. But if he was up to something shady, he might just give us an, a runaround. In that case, maybe we should ask the other police officers. Agreed. You might want to ask people in the city what they think of him too. And what is the truth behind the cube-shaped devices? The ditto that made itself look like a Pikachu broke the Slowpoke statue. Perhaps the cube-shaped devices had some connection to that. So, about how those cube-shaped devices work. I keep losing my memory here in the police station, so I really don't know much about them. Try asking people in the city about them. I'm sure there are people who've seen those devices attached to Pokemon. Try hearing what they've got to say. All right. 
Visiting time is over. Ugh, I wish we had more time. Good luck with your investigation. Uh, not this. Darn it. What is it, Pikachu? It's just like yesterday. That feeling when I'm about to lose my memories. My body's moving on its own. Pikachu. It's no use. Is Pikachu okay? He was walking kind of strange just now. He was like that after our first visit too. I'm worried about him. 